ever such a thing as dupes for food, I think I found the store that has all the dupes. <laughs> Welcome back to today's video. So today is going to be a really fun one. I am going grocery shopping today to a brand new store that just opened up in my area. It's called Lidl. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this store, but I know it's not as common in some states. So we actually just got tons of these in my area and I personally love this store. If you love shopping for discounted groceries, like I do, then you're going to be a huge fan of Lidl. And I was researching Lidl today because I knew I was gonna make this video and I found out so much information and I had to share it with you guys. I'm sure many of you guys have seen, I've made Aldi videos in the past and Lidl is very similar. There's actually a common misconception that the people who own Aldi and Lidl are brothers. Actually not true. That probably like blew your mind today. There were two brothers who own Aldi and they actually split the company in two after a dispute over selling cigarettes in the store. And Lidl is just completely separate from Aldi. It's a competitor. So basically think of like Pepsi and Coca-Cola, that type of thing. So completely separate brands. My closest Aldi is like 45 minutes away, unfortunately. And since there are so many Lidl's popping up now, it's just way more convenient for me to shop there. So I'm going there today to do my weekly grocery shopping and I wanted to take you guys with me. And I just wanna share some tips with you guys on shopping there if you have one that is popping up in your area. Lidl is actually a German-based company. There are a ton of them all over Europe. They opened their first US store in Iowa in 1976. And now tons of them are opening here in the US, particularly where I live in New York. They are thriving. So I wanna share with you guys 10 secrets that I found about shopping at Lidl, just like tips and tricks that will help you shop there if you have one in your area and you want to find out more about the store some secrets maybe things that you didn't know so I just wanted to make a video that would be really helpful to you guys while also taking you to the store with me to do my shopping so the first tip I want to share with you before we hit the store is to download the Lidl app it is actually so useful and I put it off for the longest time because I was like, I don't want another app on my phone because they have exclusive coupons and discounts. So I just actually opened up my app and I saw I had a $5 off coupon, which is going to be so useful. They also have different rewards when you shop there frequently. So you can earn rewards and then coupons. So if you shop there three times over the span of X amount of times in a month, they will give you a coupon. You spend $20 on a particular trip each time you go they'll give you a coupon for that so I love coupons you guys know that and the app is also really useful if you have particular like food preferences so there is a section where you can select if you have certain food intolerances if you are vegan vegetarian you're avoiding fish I will take you guys with me to the store on my vlog camera and I will share with you guys some tips and tricks for shopping at Lidl supermarket all right guys we just got to Lidl and another little secret or tip that I want to share with you guys is you do have to bring your own bags to the store that's just like a rule honestly here in New York but if you still live in a place that gives plastic bags you will still have to bring your own bag keep the line moving you will have to bag your own groceries the reason for this is that it's a faster checkout process which means more people being able to come to the registers and ring up their stuff which means more sales for the company. So, little tip for you guys. So I'm gonna go grab my cart. All right guys, here is the brand new Lidl that just opened one town over for me. It looks super nice. I can't wait to go inside. If you're looking for amazing fresh flowers, look no further than Lidl. They have gorgeous florals and they were named Fresh Flower Retailer of the Year in the Retail Industry Awards. So you know that their flowers are great. If you are planning a wedding, this would be an amazing option for centerpieces. So this was right at the front of my store, beautiful spring flowers. I am a huge fan of their produce and they have so many organic options and they're so affordable. You're gonna find the best prices on organic groceries here. So I just wanted to share with you guys some of the produce that they have. I personally love zucchini, this was organic, 249 and just so many options here and i often get my produce from lidl it's just so much cheaper than other stores like stop and shop and they have a wide variety too 
keep your eyes peeled for those yellow reduced prices. You could see here, I found this huge bag of Cara Cara oranges. These are so yummy. They were only $2.50. And you could see here, I found these other oranges. These were only $1.50 for a huge bag down from $4. So the deals are insane. I also only buy organic bananas and I love the ones from Lidl. They are so, so cheap. You always wanna buy organic bananas to avoid pesticides. Another tip for you guys is they have a line called the Preferred Selection. This is Lidl's premium house brand. You'll see it here with their cookies and desserts. These products are inspired by European culinary tradition and they offer tons of seasonal favorites. So if you're looking for a great cookie for a party or a get together, these would be a great option because they have premium ingredients. So when you're around the store, look for the preferred selection seal. You will also see it on other products. So here are just a couple ones that I found in the cookie section. These looked absolutely delicious. Guys, I absolutely love these cotton candy grapes I found at Lidl. They are so yummy. These are like the only grapes that I want to eat and they had a great deal. So I hope I can find these again. I hope you guys can find them too at your store. Me and Nick have been loving these 100 calorie raw almond packs. These are so good for a little healthy snack, some healthy fats. We go through these so quickly. I love the portion size. These look delicious too, these little apple crisps. All right, another hot little tip I have for you guys. So you see here they have the name brand product of raisins, but then Lidl has their own brand. This is their own brand. It looks exactly like the same packaging as the Sun Maze. So you get the same kind of feel and you will see throughout the store that they do this. It's their own brand. And the reason they do this is so that they can save money. They can cut out the middleman and then offer us a lower price. And then also they make profit. So in the long run, it's amazing for us because we get that lower price and literally their own brand tastes the same as the name brand and also they've won awards for their own name brands of food so you'll see here they even have their own little dupe for like entomins with their cinnamon raisin bread so their store brands make about 90 percent of their products to me it tastes exactly the same as the name brand so i'm a huge fan of the Lidl brand of products i love their chocolate me and nick love their dark chocolate it is so good you guys german chocolate is amazing if you've never tried it before you have to try it out this one's our favorite we go through these all the time i found this licorice it was imported from australia strawberry i thought it was super interesting and look at that price only a dollar 99 they also had a black licorice as well another little secret tip for you guys their bakery is amazing and typically you will find this at the front of the store it's because they want to have that sweet aroma of the baked goods to lure you in and i think that is absolutely genius so you can see all the selections they have here there are so many different baked goods to choose from they bake them fresh every day and they are fresh out of the oven so they even have like a self-service machine to slice your slice your own loaf of bread and they have pretzel rolls they have bread and the price Prices are just so good so check out the Lidl bakery next time you go here is another little find this is actually a German honey and I thought that was so cool that's another one of their preferred selection you will also find they have amazing deals on meat I love their grass-fed beef I always try and get grass-fed beef when I can if I'm not having like ground chicken it is so tasty and it really is the best so check out their beef and their meats I also love that they have deli meats. So everything is pre-cut. There's no person at a counter, which I know some people might not like, but I prefer to just go and grab my own. So you can see they have all different kinds of cheeses here, deli meats, and they do have some good prices here as well. I was also shocked to see that they had meatless options and look at this they had plant-based ground beef for only $2.99 plant-based beef and meat is usually super expensive so I was shocked to find this so if you are vegan you're looking for a alternative this would be great so head over to Lidl I have particularly not tried this yet but I definitely want to try it I'm not vegan, but I'm always open to trying some plant-based options. All right, next tip I have for you guys. Lidl has this amazing surprise section in the middle of their store. So this is like seasonal things, 
fun finds, things that are not really always food related. There is of course seasonal foods, which you'll see right here. They have this limited edition carrot cake, instant oatmeal. So just anything fun depending on what the season is. So springtime and you'll see this wall supplies last sign. So that means it's something that is only there like the sign says for a limited time. So grab it while you can. They also have these little themed chocolates, cookies and cream, coffee toffee. So I love this section. It it's also a way to compete with Aldi because they have that fun surprises section as well. So you could just find a whole myriad of items. They have dog jackets, little rain jackets, different sizes, security guard, vests. So it really is a gamble. You never know what you're going to find here, but I always find really good stuff here. I just picked up some workout shorts for Nick the other day. They had really cute Birkenstock dupes the other day. So each store too has different items. So I am always in this section seeing what they have. This was really cool. It was an outdoor storage box. We definitely need one of those. It was $49.99, but usually the prices on their stuff is pretty cheap. Like this little donut maker was $24.99. They had a bread maker. So, so cool. They had this really fun scale. I liked the different colors. Cute for like a retro kitchen. And this stuff does change out. So if you see something you like, grab it because it's only gonna be there for a limited time. They also had wet brushes. They were a little expensive, but still pretty cool. And they had these battery powered blenders, which I thought was amazing for like on the go smoothies, say you're traveling. They had plush blankets. They always have like women's and men's clothes as well. They had this paper trimmer, which I thought was pretty random, pretty interesting, but the whole section is all about things that are random finds, so you never know what you're gonna get. They even had some bathrobes. I love their own brand of Greek yogurt. If you guys get a chance to try this, it is so good and it's way more affordable than Chobani. I also love these little 100 calorie yogurts. These are delish. All right, guys, I got as much footage as I could at Lidl, but I did get in trouble for filming. The woman who worked there came over to me and I understand it's their job, so they have to do this. Um, she said there's a sign outside that has like an X on a camera and she said there's no pictures allowed. And I was like, well, is video and picture the same thing? And she said, yeah, no one's allowed to take video. And it's funny, at first she came over to me and she was like, hi. And I thought she was just being friendly. And I was like, this is a little strange because no one is ever really that friendly here in New York. If you guys are from New York, you know. So I'm like, hmm, I'm like, she's being overly nice to me. I'm like, something is weird. Um, she was like waiting at the end of the aisle for me. And I was like, she's like, how are you? I was like, I'm good, how are you? And she was like, um, she's like, some of my associates saw you taking pictures. Um, that's not allowed. It says right here and at the front of the store. And I was like, oh, okay. It's just so strange to me how these stores don't want people to film, but it's like, it's basically advertisement for them. I also saw there was another guy who works at Aldi. I mean, I'm not a worker. Um, and he got in trouble for posting Aldi TikToks, like when he was at the store, but I think there's probably something with like Europe um, because it is a German store and they have this kind of just like different ideas about social media to move my chair back than we do. Like I think they, I don't know. I don't know. That's just kind of my guess we, from working in social media and working for like a European company. Got as much footage as I could. The girl was like, I'm going to have to ask you to delete those clips. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> just kind of like walked away like I didn't want to delete my clips because I still want to put up this video for you guys because I feel like it is a super helpful video and I wanted to get you guys as much info as I could I was so paranoid walking out I thought there was going to be someone like waiting for me at the door like to take my camera and like literally sit there and delete the clips which I honestly would have been like crying because I feel like that's super invasive one of the last secrets I wanted to tell you guys about Lidl that I didn't get to film inside because I was too scared to take my camera back out is that the stores are actually smaller than a regular grocery store, which I'm sure you've seen as well with Aldi, how it's much smaller, which I personally prefer. I don't get as overwhelmed. And the reason for that is so you spend less time in their store, which means they can bring more customers into their store. And then again, for them, that just means more money for businesses. It usually is always about the almighty dollar and making money. So I just thought that was interesting and wanted to share that little tip with you guys.
Hope you guys found this video helpful and that you enjoyed seeing these little tips and tricks and secrets about shopping at Lidl Supermarket. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever been to one yet. I will leave a store locator in my description box if you guys want to see if there is one coming to your area or if there are any in your area. It is just so much fun going there. I think it is such just a nice experience of how low the prices are. I saved so much money there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That means that the video will spread out to other people. It helps so much with the YouTube algorithm and it kind of pushes my video out so other people will see it. So thank you guys for watching. Love you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye!